It goes without saying that the barren, arid tundra biome provides for a great horror story backdrop, from the eerie, freezing start of Mary Shelley's original Frankenstein novel to the polar horror of John Carpenter's The Thing. Should one become stranded there, the vast, icy snowscapes at the top and bottom of the globe are frightening enough. But what if there was a paranormal presence in those wintry wonderlands? If the legends are to be believed, there are a lot of ghost stories in the far north. This list will include 10 different ghost stories from above the Arctic Circle, even though some people think that Antarctica also has some haunted corners. Number 10. Zombies on King William Island During the Darkness, Canadian History, The Franklin Expedition The Natsilic Inuit people who resided on King William Island narrate tales of invasions from another type of undead creature, zombies, although the first entry on our list veers rather away from a traditional ghost story. King William Island, which was once known as, Quikikutak, can be found in the territory of Nunavut and was discovered for the first time by British explorers in 1830. The indigenous population had been there for a lot longer. The Natsilic Inuit had never before encountered other indigenous people in this far north, much less white European explorers. Therefore, when witnesses described seeing blue-skinned, shambling shells of men, tales of the undead walking once more emerged. In fact, a lot of trips above the Arctic Circle ended in disaster, and many explorers, most famously the British Franklin Expedition of 1845, were frequently horrific to watch as men froze to death. Even though some of these, death marches, were reported while no expeditions were known to have been to the region, they were real. Maybe these lost explorers turned out to be ghosts after all. Number 9. Superdeep Kola Borehole It was well known that the Soviet Union had succeeded in creating the world's deepest man-made hole on the Kola Peninsula, a project that lasted from 1970 to 1994, despite the fact that many of its achievements were formerly shrouded in Cold War secrecy. The hole itself was able to penetrate the Earth's crust 40,230 feet 12,262 meters down, which is deeper than the Mariana Trench. Although there were many reports of such a feat. Although it is generally recognized that the project was shelved due to a lack of money, some legends contend that the drill accidentally entered a highly hot cavern. The scientists go insane after the microphone allegedly picked up, screams of the damned. Some claim that the scientists actually dug all the way to hell itself, however this claim is by far the one that is most likely to be made up as an urban legend. Number 8. Troms's ghosts The Norwegian city of Troms will have over 70,000 residents by 2022, making it the third most populous region above the Arctic Circle. The city of Troms was formally created in 1838, which gives people looking for a deep enough past to locate ghost stories more than enough leeway even though it is not the oldest town in Scandinavia. Tales of wraith-like whites and sea trolls patrolling seashore shores in the dead of night in quest of prey are common, and spirits have been reported haunting every building in the city. This might be as a result of the city center's construction on top of an old cemetery. Esker Johansson, a local historian, even organizes a Troms Ghost Walk No. 7, resort at Arctic Circle Hot Springs The hot springs in question may fall just short of being able to claim to be above the Arctic Circle, but Franklin Leach's original claims to some land in 1906 would go far enough north. After being inhabited by the Athabascan people, the village of Circle Hot Springs was a boom town for the nearby Yukon Gold Rush and would eventually become a ghost town as the gold ran out. A resort would start operating much later in time, and its owners would start receiving numerous reports of poltergeist activity, particularly in the 1990s. When no visitors were present, things would frequently fly across the room, footsteps would be audible, and a woman with a transparent, gossamer-like face would frequently appear. It is believed to be the ghost of Franklin Leach's wife Emma, who is interred on the site. Number 6. The Bechimo SS is a ghost ship is rumored to occasionally haunt the waters surrounding the Seahorse Islands at Point Barrow in Alaska, the next entry takes us to the Arctic Ocean itself. The Swedish cargo ship SS Bechimo, which had been in service for 20 years, was forced to be abandoned in 1931 after becoming stuck in the ice. Before anyone could come back to get it, it became dislodged and floated across the Arctic. Sightings of the SS Bechimo, in contrast to most phantom ships, were in fact sightings of an abandoned ship, and some people were even able to board throughout the 1930s. The ship would continue to be seen up until 1969, either by local Inuit or other explorers, but no one ever attempted to board or rescue the ship again. Some think that the SS Bechimo still floats peacefully on the Arctic Ocean's frigid waters, even though the ship's wreckage was never found despite a concerted search attempt in 2006. Number 5. 
the Garka Salakard Railway Gulag inmates of the Soviet Union were made to laboriously erect more than 800 miles of railway track in the very cold north of Siberia from 1947 to 1953. The Salakard Agarka Railway project would end with over 300,000 deaths, with only about half of the track ever being completed. The project came to a halt in 1953 after Joseph Stalin's death. The unfinished railroad eventually gained the moniker, Stalin's Railway of Death, and the fatalities weren't merely caused by overwork and exhaustion. According to legend, the intense mosquito swarms in the location caused numerous inmates to bleed to death. Many of the crumbling, abandoned buildings are still standing today, and some urban explorers report hearing agonized screams, laboring sounds, and other paranormal activity among the ruins. Number 4. Mother of the Sea, Tupelik, Kivatuk, and more are among the five mythical creatures from Greenland. The following legend on this list is located on the unsuitably called Greenland. Although there are more than one ghost mentioned in the legend of the Kivatuk, it is nonetheless a menacing image. The inhabitants of Greenland assert that ominous, ethereal beings are prowling the frozen tundra, seeking after anybody unfortunate enough to come into contact with them. People who are exiled from their communities and essentially left to freeze to death with little hope of survival are referred to as, Kivatuk, in this context. Over time, though, some claim to have witnessed these exiles living on the tundra despite all obstacles. Maybe they have strong survival instincts, which is where their propensity for hunting people stems from. A 1956 Danish movie with the simple title Kivitok, 1, T, Missing, made the legend of the Kivatuk popular. Number 3. Augustus Piers's ghost ghost stories and time slippers coming from the Arctic Circle fur trader Augustus Piers tragically died in his 30s in 1853 as a result of a natural disaster. Piers was buried in Fort McPherson, where he had worked, but he made it quite plain before he died that he did not want to be. Roderick McFarlane, a co-worker and dog sled runner, then offered to transport Piers's body down the Mackenzie River to a new spot. But after what happened on the hike, McFarlane would be very hesitant to accept a similar duty again. The dog sled driver wrote in his journal about hearing a commanding voice ring out of nowhere, asking the dogs to guard the body from scavengers in the wild. The dogs obeyed, but this would not be the only terrifying incident. Throughout the night, a ghostly figure would float past McFarlane's tent, terrifying him to no end. Number 2. Case Study Cryptid, the miling is the miling are undoubtedly among the top echelons of Norse mythical fame, terrifying tales of them are spread all over Scandinavia. Contrary to Thor and Loki, however, the more Christianity spread over Scandinavia, the more popular these spirits' tales became. According to legend, the mylingar is the spirit of a child abandoned in the forest by its mother after being born outside of wedlock so that neither she nor the kid would be punished by the church. Many thought that since the infant would not be baptized, not much could be done to save them from an inevitable fate as a ghost. The miling, on the other hand, does a little bit more than just haunt a place, unlike other ghosts. For years and years, it has cried out non-stop, pestering bystanders to give the phantom child a name. Mylingar who are more enraged deliberately try to reveal their mother's secret to anybody who will listen, occasionally appearing on her wedding day. Number 1. The Labrador Phantom Trapper The people who tell of a ghost that stalks the snow-covered plains of the Canadian province of Labrador refer to him simply as, Smoker. The man, whose real name was reputedly Esau, persevered in the bitterly cold north and initially began his business career as a trapper. But after having little luck, he decided to start making moonshine. This frequently brought him into difficulties with the mounted police, which led Smoker to intensify his scheme. He put on an all-white fur outfit, adopted an all-white husky dog team, and fled persecution by becoming one with the snow. For a while, he was successful, but after a drunken fall that left him with a broken back in the cold north, the bootlegger succumbed to his injuries. Some people, however, assert that they have witnessed a snowy, spectral trapper plowing through the snow in northern Canada. Even God is said to have heard the man's cries before he passed away, and he is said to have begged to become a ghost out of fear of going to hell.